Hey, what is up guys? This is Aaron and in this video I'm going to be talking to you about the app iStat Menus. Now, let me just start by saying that this is one of my most useful apps on my computer. Uh, and I actually found it by searching on Google for a problem that I was having on my computer. And I'll explain. Uh, I recently bought a second monitor. Uh, and for some reason, my fans were sometimes getting a little bit too loud for me. And I thought this was a problem because I got my uh, second monitor. Uh, and why else would my computer's fans suddenly go to the max? Uh, also, another thing is that when it did happen, I couldn't exa exactly open the activity monitor fast enough and find out exactly what the problem was. And I definitely did not want it to be uh, sitting in my dock. So I needed something uh, that would uh, kind of be in my menu bar. Uh, and I wanted something where I can see exactly when my CPU was being used the most. Uh, and I wanted to see a quick way of, uh, you know, of, of seeing what processes were using the most CPU power. Uh, now I found iStat Menus and iStat Menus does exactly that and a little more. Uh, you can see from just from up here, uh, the only thing you know, uh, what I most needed was the CPU option. Um, but you can see that I have some more things here, like some things about the RAM, uh, some network information, uh, and some uh, computer sensors. Now, all these things are super, super useful for me. Um, and I didn't even know I needed them. But once I found out that this uh, app uh, included those features, I was completely hooked. Um, now, uh, let, let me show you guys uh, an example of what there is here. Uh, let me start out with uh, the battery stuff. I actually don't have everything in my menu bar. I chose to uh, kind of, you know, uh, only have the things that I would consider the most essential. But if you want to add things, you have a second monitor with a longer menu bar, then you can definitely uh, do that. Um, you know, you can see many different battery uh, options some, some lots of information about the battery. Uh, how charged it is and and you can also put in things like you know if you're charging your ear pods or your magic mouse you can have that also there uh, then we have some sensors uh, which you can see that i do actually have that uh, i have just the uh, the main temperature uh, over here which is 65 just so i can make sure that uh, the heat of my computer stays down uh, as much as it can um, and you can see once i click this it automatically will uh, sorry it instantly will open up uh, all the sensors and will show every single one's temperature. Now I don't know uh, where there, where else in macOS there is a way to see everything like this all at once. So just being able to have all this information here, all the sensor information with the temperatures and everything here, uh, is quite useful. Um, you know, just uh, to have that. You can see I can also add other things uh, like that. Uh, I can add other things into the menu bar by just a drag and drop. Uh, the next thing over here that we have is the network information. We can see uh, the uh, down upload download speeds. Uh, now this actually, you know, only once you're really using the network, it'll go up. Uh, you, can, you can actually see it live uh, updating. Um, and then we can add some more things like we can add uh, you know, a flag of the country that we're uh, we're in right now. If you're using a VPN and you're in a different country, then it'll obviously it'll show that country's uh, flag. So that is pretty cool. Uh, and you can see, uh, you, can, you know, just put it in here. I can customize it, move it around, put it wherever I want. And if I don't want to use uh, this little thing here, then I can go ahead and drop it right back in there. Then we have some disk information. Now I'm running an SSD. I don't really need. Uh, to see uh, any uh, any information, but if I wanted to, I can turn turn it on and, and see if I don't want to see specific information. I can obviously just turn it off there, and it'll go ahead and update. Um, then memory information, you know, it's pretty straightforward. Then of course the CPU and GPU stuff, I can add here. Uh, and like I said, it works like a reason. I just kind of actually want to show this to you. Uh, you can actually see. I don't know how they do this, but it gives you uh, information up to 30 days back so you can see what the usage was for the past 30 days uh, and you can see the past hour you can see 
uh, how it was in you know 24 hours so let's say over here this is when I was sleeping so obviously the computer had no usage um, and then I actually uh, there are these random things here where I can now I can check up on my computer I see that for some reason at 813 the computer was used I think for about or it was it wasn't used it was on for about 10 minutes here for a reason that I don't know maybe uh, maybe it was my wife or someone was on my computer I have to check that out um, but you can see it shows all the cores here um, all six cores uh, and, and what how they're doing what's going on with them so just having that information is really really useful now uh, just one more thing before we wrap up this review um, there is uh, um, uh, something that may be a little bit annoying uh, and a taboo or sort of a sore topic um, and it's the uh, displaying of the weather here in the menu bar now for uh, some reason now this reason is stated in their frequently asked questions um, this weather data uh, is subscription based so you can see here the prices um, if you want to go ahead and uh, upgrade uh, um, you know to have weather updates uh, it does cost money so you can see here let's say for example one year of 15 minute updates is seven dollars um, which is kind of a lot of money now I'm sure they have good reason uh, I mean, they have a good reason for charging so much for uh, just having the weather data in your menu bar um, and you can obviously see it here in their frequently asked questions um, but you know what once it expires for me I'm definitely not going to uh, to re-update it because I ha can get my weather information in tons of other ways uh, But for now, I'm leaving it here because it is cool and it does give lots of information. So it's not like um, You know, it, it, it does give a lot of information um, So Yeah, I think that's it all in all. I think uh, I stat menus is one of my most useful utilities and I'm definitely gonna keep it on my computer for now on. I wanna give a special thanks to the developers for sending me a free review version, uh, and I'm definitely keeping this on my Mac. <laughs> um, and yeah, so that's all for this video. If you're interested um, you know, in, in more video, for more videos and content like this, uh, and you'd want me to go ahead and come back to YouTube, go ahead and let me know in the comment section down below. Also, if you're not subscribed yet, please go ahead and do that. Thanks again very much for watching, and as always, have a great day.